Hey, what's up? This is Mark at Alchemist.camp, where we learn Elixir and Phoenix by building things. Today, we are going to do a video for the Unix users out there. So this is about PID files. A PID or a process ID is a core idea in Unix. And daemons will often use something called a PID file. And that's just a file, just a plain text file that has a single number in it, which is the process ID of the program that's currently running. That way, when the program has already been started, other programs can look at that file and know what its ID is and manage them. Uh, this is really important, say, if you're using system D and you want it to restart your program if it crashes, or you want it to be able to kill your program in some cases. These files are not created by default when you run a Phoenix app or any Elixir application, but there is a really, really easy to use simple library that will create one for us. So I'm gonna show how to do that. Um, and then once you've created your file, uh, you're going to need to symlink it to the appropriate directory depending on, on uh, uh, what flavor of Unix you're using and everything that you've got set up. So. Let's start by going to our mix.exs. I'll full screen this so it's a little easier. Um, I'm just going to add a new dependency here. It's called PID file. Great library name. It's only 0.1.0. Yeah, That's the uh, most current version of the library. However, as I said, it's a very simple library, so don't be alarmed by the small number there. I'll save that. And then we'll go to our config.exs, which looks like, you know, that's for the rel. Let me just search it here. And yeah, here is my config file. Near the bottom, I'm just going to add one more line to it that is config pid file. And I've got to give the name of the file that uh, is being created. That file is just going to be in the same directory as the app and I'm gonna call it campsite since that's the name of my Phoenix app. I'll save that and I'm going to scroll down here so you can see the files that are in the same directory. I'll just close everything else so it's really easy to see. Um, I don't have any hid file now, but when I run the app, iex-s mix phoenix.server, I guess I didn't need the iex-s. That's all right though. So the server is up and running and you can see we now have this campsite. Oh, you know what? We shouldn't just call it campsite. It should be campsite.pid. I'll save that and kill that and remove campsite and start up our server again. Now we've got campsite.pid. You see this pid in here. I can actually, actually let's uh, unfull screen this so we can see this running on localhost uh, 4002. So this is the dev version of my site. Now if I open another shell terminal here and we just kill this process 6696 and did it kill? Yes, EF, grep campsite we did kill it and it's no longer running so you can see it's really simple to set up a pid file and then all you need to do after that is set up the appropriate links so that your unix utilities of choice can find it that's it for today see you next time